right, good morning. Friday, February 5th, 2021, the year of our Lord. And uh, thank God it is Friday. That's all I can say. Want to give everyone a quick update. After many, many, many emails, a lot of... Uh, a lot of time spent. Uh, we are unsuspended on Twitter, and our episode number fifty-eight, "May You Live in Interesting Times," is back up on YouTube. So I will consider that a victory. But it's just the harassment of everything, you know. Um, the YouTube, uh, YouTube last YouTube response I got said after reviewing this again, we found there's no content that violates any kind of guidelines our apologies blah 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 so it's just harassment just being harassed uh but even as i speak i'm looking over here at my screen and this week's episode is uploading now obviously you'll be able to find it on flood inc as soon as it's up i'll make sure everything's there but i had you know i just wanted to kind of talk real quickly about I, I would guess I'd say perception, just, you know, keep having these conversations with people that what is or what isn't. And I guess it's all in, in your perception. I guess it's all in your attitude or your perspective, maybe. But I just really like to challenge people that there may be things going on under the surface. And that's in relationships with people. That's in an individual's heart and mind. I would say that's in a, a collective's, you know, um, conscience, whether that be a group, a political party, organization, family, country, whatever. Uh, a church, religious organization. I, I just think that if we aren't able to start to view things in a really pragmatic and authentic way. And that's that's on both sides. Either, you know, it's about being balanced. You know, I had a great conversation with Dave, my buddy Dave, last night, who did our theme song for our episode, or for our podcast, our podcast. And we were talking about, you know, in Romans 7, where Paul talks about duality. <clears throat> and that's something I think about all the time. <laughs> Like duality. And basically, you know, he says, what I do, I do not want to do, but I find myself doing. And what I do not want to do, I do not do. And, you know, you know, he just talks about being wretched and how this, this sinful, if you will, desires just override him or doing the things he knows he shouldn't do or yielding to those temptations or yielding to those things that do not bring any joy, any satisfaction, any spiritual fulfillment, any life, yet being compelled and being called and being wooed by these other things or entities or temptations that bear no fruit, that are absolutely harmful and destructive for us on a spiritual and a physical and a mental level. And there's that consistent balance. And I would argue that that goes beyond the individual, that that is also for a collective. And I just look at people and I believe what they say. I might be gullible and I know that I've gotten uh, sharded on in the past by that, but I think genuinely speaking and generally speaking, people say what they do. They may not always do what they say, but I believe people's intentions, they, they just come out and say it. And the more nefarious they are, then usually in my experience, the more accurate they are. <laughs> But that being said, I want you guys to enjoy today's episode. It is up. I just saw that it's 100% uploaded. I got to hit that send button. Um, it is our second in a series of portraits and civil disobedience. This one's about Mahatma Gandhi, and I really, really like this one. Um, make sure you listen to the end, all the way to the end. We got a little, little funny thing there for you. But nonetheless, um, get in the arena. 